what I want to talk to, about today is two power apps. Uh, one, one of the ones that which you're seeing currently is the onboarding tasks power app. So what, what, what this aims to achieve is not so much uh, around the paper-based process automation, but more so automating the menial tasks that an organization might have to undertake when onboarding a new employee. Uh, so I'll just click through um, this screen here and get this started. So the current view that you're actually looking at is sort of like a web application view of this Power App. So Power Apps come in two different forms. They come in a, a desktop orientated view, which is best suited to a tablet um, or a laptop or you know, if, you're, if you're just viewing it on a desktop. Uh, and you also have mobile orientated Power Apps as well. And those mobile apps are generally used for frontline workers. So just as an example, you could have a subcontractor who's entering, entering information into this Power App and it would feed back through to another system. All right, so um, just on this onboarding Power App right now, you can see I have a, I have a screen and this, this view that we're currently looking at is based on a user's perspective. So this user's just joined my organization. It says, hello, welcome to the team, Joshua Toomey. And all you'll have to do is click get started. So the first thing you'll see if I join the, um, this new company now, Fabricam Inc., um, I'm presented with a to-do list. So an administrator of this of this Power App can set predefined tasks for new starters to actually complete uh, and add hyperlinks to relevant information um, within their team. So all of this is, is managed by the Power App um, and it just links and integrates the other systems as well. Okay, um, I can set up my profile. Um, I can write an about me email and I can also add additional information to, to what's called a Delve profile, which will, which will be available for the whole organization to see. So it's really, really quick to get set up and, and, and get started with actually using the Power App, as you can see here. It's pretty self-intuitive. Uh, self um, if I wanted to mark a task off, all I have to do is click a task and click mark, mark as complete, and that'll complete the task and update the progress bar. Um, if I had any of the links here, um, and I clicked on one, it would take me to a relevant link within my organization or whatever the admin set up uh, for, that, for that given team. Okay, um, I can flick through to my team now. Uh, and what this hooks into is, is your Office 365 uh, uh, information, so all your user profiles. Um, it gives you sort of a hierarchical sort of view uh, where I can see my manager. Um, and I can also see any of my, my peers that work, work with me as well. Um, and who also works works closely with with those uh, with, with that peer. Um, so what this gives a, the user joining uh, is a is an easy transition into into where the information is that I need to see, because one of the main problems with onboarding an, a, a new user to a to a company is where do I find the information and who do I speak to. Yep, um, there's just an additional tab here. So if I, it's just showing dummy, dummy data at the moment, but um, all of this information can be easily configured and pushed out um, based on your company's requirements. So fairly simple and straightforward. Um, and this was the example of the, the desktop sort of view of a Power App where it's more like a web application.